Beverly Hills, land of the rich, home of the famous. Sure, the stereotypes exist, but what most people don't know is the truth behind the plastic. If there is anything I have learned in all my years as a plastic surgeon, it's that appearances are not always as they seem. I get patients from all over the world, from celebrities to the average everyday housewife. But there is one thing they all have in common. Everyone needs a lift. Welcome to my world. My name is Amy. I'm 22 years old. I'm a hairdresser and I live in Los Angeles, California. I have two children, a six years old daughter and a four month old baby boy. Now my family is complete and it's time for me to focus on myself and go back to work. After having two kids, uh, my, my body has been changed completely and I have a lot of loose skin over my tummy and I lost the volume of my breast and I'm just looking to go back to my old figure. I heard about Dr. Kasibian from a lot of friends. They had their procedure done with, uh, with him and they were so happy with it. And the fact that he's a board certified, that's very important to me. This surgery is very important to me. It's gonna give me a confidence to go back to my work and make me feel good about myself. Today I'm meeting with Amy, who's interested in mommy makeover. This is a very popular procedure for new mothers who are interested in getting back in shape. Sabian has totally surpassed my expectations. He has his own surgical center and team of nurses that took care of my every need. I can't believe the impact this has had on my life already. I think mentally and emotionally, I'm just so much more confident and secure in my appearance. I can't believe I've waited so long to do this. I finally feel like me. No more dark circles and I feel like this is the nose that I should have been born with. I absolutely love it. I feel like a new woman and this is a gift for life, for my new life. It's been amazing. I can't believe how quickly I healed and I feel like we picked just the perfect size. I've never felt better. Thank you, LiftMD Aesthetics. Amy, so nice to meet you. Hi, Dr. Kasabian, how are you? Fantastic, welcome. I hear you're here for a mom makeover. Yes, I heard about you uh, from a lot of friends. They have this procedure of the mommy makeover. Uh -huh. And they're really happy. And I'm here today to, to hear some information sure. from you. Sure, and how many babies have you had? I have a six years old daughter uh -huh. and a four month baby boy. Oh, wow, okay. And I see you've lost your baby weight, so... Yes, I did. Okay, so you're ready for it. Yes. So let's discuss, tell me what questions you have. Uh, well, um, my concern is about my tummy. I had a little loose um, skin uh -huh. and my breast. I lost the volume of my breast. Yeah. And I would like to have some, a little bit of light bulb on the side. Okay, Basically, okay. Basically, mommy makeover. <laughs> sure, sure. Did you breastfeed with your I baby? did for the first two months uh -huh. and I stopped. Okay, so. for both of them? For both of them. Okay, okay. And uh, so, and how many pounds did you gain during your pregnancy? Um, about 45 pounds. Okay, so that did quite some change. You saw some changes. Oh, the yeah, skin stretched, time. the muscles stretched. Time. Well, the f my first pregnancy, I was one, 130 pounds. And um, when I had my first daughter, I was 175. Oh, wow. So 45 pounds. 45 yeah. pounds. Yeah. And um, my daughter, she was big baby. Good, good. And my second, it was very big too. Good. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Well, first of all, congratulations on having Thank two you. babies, and uh, and now you've lost the baby weight, so it's time to take care of you yes. and uh, get you the figure you deserve. Yes. Uh, so, uh, what cup size are you now? I'm a 
34B. Okay, and what cup size are you thinking of? Um, full C, small D. Okay, and what were you before having the babies? Well, I have like full B, but they were nice, same full, and uh -huh. now they're, it's more like loose, same. Okay. And um, mm -hmm. so what you're gonna find, yeah, w I'll, I'll give you that perkiness that you had before the volume yes. uh, that you've lost with the, having the babies and breastfeeding. Uh, and also doing the tummy tuck also enhances the look of your breasts uh, because the, the muscles are gonna be tighter, the loose, with the loose skin go gone, then your chest will look more enhanced. And then to top that, a little bit of liposuction here in the muffin top area yeah. so give you the nice silhouette you're, look, you're looking for yeah. so overall it will look fantastic Amy any other concerns yes I'm concerned about my thighs uh -huh. I would like to have some light pool sure sure well, what happens as we get older and especially after having babies there's certain fat pockets that are exercise and diet resistant so mm -hmm. the waist is one example also the thighs so it, inner thighs is a common place to get liposuction with the mommy makeover. Okay. So we'll, we'll do that. What we're gonna do next is, next door I have a special machine that does a scan of your chest. And I'll show you on the computer how actually breast augmentation is gonna look like. Okay. And it gives you an accurate image of what a C plus will look like, what a D minus will look like. So it, 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 you can see with your eyes how it's gonna, how the result's okay. gonna be. Also, we'll try with implants inside the bra, so different sizes. So all, that also gives you another visual okay. of how the augmentation's gonna be. All right, so let's proceed with that. Okay, I'm ready. Considering plastic surgery? Want to see results now? Introducing Lift Tech app by Dr. Garo Kasabian for your iPhone and iPad. Snap your photo on your phone or upload one from your library. Choose the area you want to change and change your look with the swipe of a finger. Share with friends. Email for a consultation. Get health and beauty tips. Shop for beauty products. Enjoy the new you because looking good feels good. Amy, this is what a C would look like, all right? Okay. You have an idea now how, how it's gonna be. And what I want you to do to make sure about the size, we're gonna go through different sizes. We'll start with what a small C would look like, what a medium C would look like, what a full C would look like, okay? Amy, Siobhan's gonna help us with the sizing. And what we're gonna start is the 200 CC implants. That's gonna give you a small C. Okay, Amy, these are the 200 cc's. It's going to show you what a small C would be. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to place them in. And now we can place you in a tank top so you can take a look at the look. Okay, Amy, so this is what the 200 cc looks like. This will give you a small C look. What do you think? They're way too small. Way too small? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try a bigger size. All right, so this is the 300 cc's. This is gonna give you a fuller C. It's bigger than the 200 cc's. What do you think about this look? I would like to go with the small, small, D. small D. All right, let's try it on. So this is the 400 cc's. With this, you'll achieve a full C, small D. I love it, what do you think? It's perfect, I love it, very nice. I finished my consultation with Dr. Kasipian. We discussed the implant and the sizing and the mommy makeover. I cannot wait for my surgery. Amy is an excellent candidate for mommy makeover. She has three concerns. First, she's lost volume in her breast area. Second, her abdominal wall has loose skin and muscle. 
And third, she's got fat pockets in the thigh areas that are exercise resistant. For the loss of volume in the breast area, Amy will undergo breast augmentation. And in the abdominal area for the loose skin and muscle, a tummy tuck is an excellent option. And for the fat pockets in her thighs, those could be easily treated with liposuction. So all in all, the three procedures can be done together and Amy will achieve the shape that she had before having children. I'm at the Dr. Kasibian office and I have my surgery today and I'm very excited and nervous and I hope I'll get the best result and everything goes well and I'm very happy. Just got done with Amy's surgery. I'm very happy. Everything went as planned. Did the tummy tuck with the liposuction of the waist and the inner thighs. Before that, did the breast augmentation. So all in all, she got the mommy makeover she was looking for, and she's gonna look amazing. Hi, Amy. Hi, doctor. You look so good. Doesn't look like you had a mommy makeover a week ago. Oh yeah, it's been a week. I feel amazing. Yeah, fantastic. You look great. You look great. What I'm going to do now is take a look at your uh, incisions. And how are the drains doing? It's good. Yeah. Mm, very good. So I'll get, uh, if they're ready, I'll get them out also. Okay. At the same time. All right? All right. Amy, the drains are out. The incisions are clean and healing very well. So let's take some photos. you before you left I uh, need to get a follow-up appointment next week okay. all right so I need to see him post up next week yeah. but I'm so glad you're healing so well yes. yeah thank you. and just in time for Mother's Day happy Mother's Day thank to you thank you so much doctor all thank right. you all right. so I'll see you next week bye -bye. thank you so much bye-bye Amy shares a similar story to many new moms it's not about changing their look it's more about restoring the shape they had before giving birth the biggest concerns mothers have with the mommy makeover is the downtime. After one week, Amy is able to tend to her children, and I expect to see her going back to work next week. I am so happy that she feels great about herself again, and look forward to her progress. It's been a week since I did my surgery. I already feel amazing. This is the best thing I did for myself. I cannot wait to go back to work. I never thought that I'm gonna have a plastic surgery in my life, but after the pregnancy, I saw my body change. I knew the surgery would be the best option for me.